today we're going to take a look at one of our favorite features of the Apple Watch. Apple Pay! Who doesn't love Apple Pay? And we're going to show you all about it, how to set it up, and even go to a store. So join us as we go on a field trip with Apple Pay. Hey, it's Barbara and Karen here, the Sync Sisters. And our channel is all about teaching you tech so you can master your digital lifestyle. So if you like what you see here today, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to stay informed. And we love getting likes and comments, so please keep them coming. So let's get started taking a look at Apple Pay on the Apple Watch. So there's just a few things technically that you need to have set up before you can start using the credit card on your watch. Um, one of them is you do need an Apple ID and you need to be signed into iCloud. And you also need to have the passcode feature turned on and active on your watch, which makes perfect sense because otherwise someone could just steal your watch and start using your cards, right? Right, right. And um, it's always a good idea to have the latest watch OS, just as it is on your phone and other devices, just to make sure you have all the security and all the updates. Right, for yep. sure. And then also to note that even if you're using Apple Pay on your phone already, you're going to need to add the cards to right. your watch. It's part of the security. Uh, with Apple Pay, you know, the credit card information is never stored on your phone, never transmitted to the merchant. The merchant. They use single token um, uses, uses yep. and it encrypts it every time. So it's magic. It's just magic. <laughs> How does it work? It's okay. the greatest thing. It's so secure. It is. It is. Yeah. So let's take okay, a look. So let's take a look. So uh, now we are on our, our iPhone, and I'm going to go into the Watch app, which is the little black rectangle with the little watch. I'm going to tap on that. If you had more than one watch, you would want to pick it here. Right. Um, <laughs> seems kind of silly, right? It does seem silly. <laughs> but I'm going to scroll down and go down to Wallet and Apple Pay, okay? Now I'm going to tap on that. And first thing, um, what you see down here is cards on your watch. So these are ones I already have on my watch. Right. Now if I look down a little bit, there, here's an area that says Other Cards on Your Phone. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a card that we already have on our phone have been using and add it to our watch. Here's the manual security step that we were talking about. Right, right. So I'm gonna go ahead and right next to the card, I'm gonna tap add. That's gonna spin around a little bit. And then it's gonna bring it up and what you'll notice is all I have to do is enter the security code. I don't have to enter all the card to card information right. anymore. So I'm gonna put that in and then you tap up here in the upper right next going to come up with you know your terms and conditions right that right. nobody nobody ever reads right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to tap agree it's going to take a little bit of time send it out to your bank make sure everything's okay look at that got the check mark and now when we come back out here it's moved up here to cards on your watch so um let's take a minute as long as we have the watch app open if i to show you the rest of the screen now if i scroll down here's where we can set up the default card if okay. I tap on that, I'm going to change it to the card we just put in. Perfect. So that's the card that will come up when I use my watch in the store. Right. And um, you can always swipe through all your cards, but it's nice to have it set up the one you want. With the default, right. Then would be then comes your, you know, if you need to change your shipping address, your email, or your phone, you would just tap on those and go into that. The last one here is the notification. And the one that we have checked is mirror my iPhone. And I like that because, you know, usually the way I have notifications set up on my phone, I want the same thing on my watch. Right. But you could tap on custom, and then you would go down here and you could you know, turn it on or off. You can either show alerts or not. Right. It's not really <laughs> it's much not of a deal. Very custom, yeah. right? Not very custom. but So now that we have it all set up on the watch, let's take a look at the wallet. Uh, now that we have it set up on the phone, let's yeah. take a look at the watch, and we'll look at the wallet there. All right. So here we are in our watch now, and I wanted to take a minute to um, tell you about our great video, Apple Watch, a complete how-to guide. And if you haven't watched it, go at, take the time to watch it. It's a long video, an hour and 20 minutes, but you can do it in sittings or however you like. And it will show you everything about the Apple Watch. Right. And it is really great. People are loving it. But to now we're going to look and show you the wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and tap my digital crown. So I'm at the app homepage and I'm gonna go ahead and navigate around until I see the wallet icon and I'm gonna tap on it and it's gonna bring it up and you can see all my cards in here and I've got some boarding passes and if I tap here, here's that card that we just added. 
So look, it's ready to shop. Yeah. Should we go? It's bouncing. Well, before we go shopping, I thought we should talk a little bit about watch fashion. Oh, are you talking about the band? Yes, I am. <laughs> because the Apple Watch is so cool on its own, but it's even cooler when you can change the bands. Yes. I love bands. And right now I have three of them, and they're so fun to switch up. So we have picked out some of our favorites. If you want to go ahead and support us and click the Amazon link, either the circle I in the, in, on the screen or in our description below. Right. You'll get the same great Amazon shopping, uh, great prices and security, but we'll get a commission to help us to keep bringing you these free tech t t tutorials. Right, which we love doing. So we, we really appreciate your support. So let's go shopping now. Let's go. So now we're in the grocery store and I've rung up all my items. Let's take a look at Apple Pay. So now I've rung up all my items and I'm gonna double click the side button to bring up Apple Pay. I can use the default card or swipe for another one. And all I have to do is tap it towards the reader, see the lights, and there's the check mark, all done using Apple Pay. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We so love making these videos and bringing you this free content, but we do need your support. Right, so how can you support us? First of all, don't skip the commercials. That's how any creator makes money on YouTube. Um, like our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link. Same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right. So thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.